once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were Hey guys, welcome back to my channel I'm doing a little get it all done for today Last time I did one of these was for Capri's party prep Today we're actually prepping to go on vacation So I have a lot of things to get done on my agenda we have to, of course, begin packing. I want to start off with the girl stuff first, and then I'll go into, like, doing my stuff tomorrow. I feel like that's the best way. This way, I don't forget anything. Before, I used to do it all in one day, and then I would say about, like, 80% of the time, something was forgotten. I'm just, of course, doing my makeup right now. Then I'm going to get changed and Capri's down for her nap right now, so I'm going to take advantage of this time that I'll head downstairs and get a load of laundry going so that me and Mike, of course, have the clothes that we need all cleaned and ready to go before we have to get packing. Ours, of course, will be packed last. I'm just doing my concealer right now. My laundry room is a mess currently. I have a bunch of, like, clean clothes on top of the washer dryer that just have to be brought back upstairs to be put away. So I'm going to do that while I'm in the laundry room, getting that load going. And then I'll tidy up the kitchen a bit. And then I do have to go. I have a Target drive-up order that I need to pick up for, like, snacks and things that I want to bring for the trip and, of course, the plane as well. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of packing. I also have to film a video today. Today, so that's gonna take a good chunk of my time out of my day but we have all the things to get done I'm gonna head downstairs and just write the to-do list of everything I want to get tackled today and just get right to it that's what I told you soon enough everything started to change there's no going back no going back there's no going back to your own life living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life so as I mentioned to you guys in the beginning of the video, I was just going to have to tidy up the laundry room. I was unpackaging some things like sunblock, packing essentials. <laughs> we just picked up some really good deals they actually had over at Costco to bulk up on some items, some just for the house and some that we were going to take with us. And then I was just continuing on with the countertop because as you guys saw, there was just a lot of clean clothes in there and I've been doing loads and loads of laundry and I wasn't able to utilize the whole area up there which is meant for of course folding and to make things with ease so it's definitely time to kind of clear off the clutter and get everything put back away Riding on the dizzying 
Once I finished off cleaning that, I'd made a quick little to-do list like I showed you guys of everything I wanted to get tackled today. And then um, I went ahead and getting that load of white started. I used just a little bit of bleach detergent and some scent boosters. If you guys actually have a method to get your whites really white, I would love to hear it down in the comments below because I'm definitely looking for something I feel like they're not as bright as they could be. Once I was done tidying up the laundry room and getting that load started and washing, I went into the kitchen area and just basically the usual morning tidy up, which is putting all of the dishes from the dishwasher unloaded and put back away. This way I can make room for all of the dishes from breakfast time and to be able to have space to add whatever was left also after we have lunch. And I usually get that load going right before dinner so I can have it ready to go with all of the abundance of dishes from dinner time. And lastly, for the morning tidy up, I just went ahead, cleared off the countertops, gave them a good spray down with my Method Granite Cleaner, and got that all wiped away. You take my life for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never I just finished tidying up the kitchen. We got the laundry going, we cleaned the laundry room. Now I'm gonna get started in filming. I'm gonna change really quickly and then I'm gonna head over to Target because I do have, like I told you guys, a Target drive up order to pick up. So I'll show you like the different snacks and stuff that I plan on packing and how I'm like gonna kind of pack it for the plane ride for the girls. I just finished filming right now. I'm gonna head over to Target, jump into my car, get the Target drive up, and I'll share with you guys the items that I picked up. And then also while I'm out, I'm actually gonna run over to Michael's because I wanna pick up like, I don't know if you guys are familiar, like those jewelry cases. They actually are um, meant of course for like jewelry, beads, but you can like change out the sizing. And I've seen on Pinterest a lot, a lot of people actually use them as snack trays, like snack. I'll show you guys what I pack her snacks in and what I'll do the same for the plane. It's just like these little goby containers. I bought this a while ago for Mila and now she's kind of, I feel like too big for them, but you literally like hit the button and it just kind of pops out the next snack. So I plan on putting, let's say I put like pretzels, um, puffs, excuse my nails. This was part of the DIY <laughs> I was just doing and I totally ruined them. Luckily I go tomorrow to go get my nails done for the trip. But yeah, this little snack tray is perfect. They have like different colors and stuff. So you just basically hit the button and it can open up the next snack that she's going to be eating. So it Okay, so I just got my Target drive up order right here. <laughs> All the necessities, you guys know, I literally can't live without Target drive up. It's the best thing ever invented. But I just went in there because the only items that I needed was to fill up like a pre snack tray, have snacks in the suitcase for when we fly back home, and then just a couple of things that she'll have like throughout her trip. Um, we are staying at an all inclusive, so chances are there'll be like fruit and things like that she can snack up. But the first thing I just picked up some puffs. I did two different flavors I did banana as well as strawberry apple. And another reason I stocked up on a couple of extras because they also part of my target 
Target drive order is diapers, wipes, because they're doing their spend 100, get a $20 gift card. I always take advantage of that time. So on baby food, baby toiletries, as well as the diapers and wipes. So those, then I also picked up these little like happy baby cookies. She's never had these. They're organic vanilla oat and flaxseed. Mila really loved, I think hers were like the Gerber brand or something. So probably very similar. Capri loves the happy baby teethers. Those are really great for her teething gums and just an easy snack that's like no mess. So I could throw some of those in the diaper bag. These I opened up because I was curious what they looked like. This is the um, Earth's Best Organic Breakfast Biscuits. I've never tried these for her either, but another great thing if I just wanna pack like two of them inside the diaper bag, that's nice and easy. And then smaller things that I'm thinking I can put inside that little like Gobi spinner are of course some little like yogurt melts I could put in there I could also put the puffs and then I plan on putting like um, little pretzels things like that for her and then the last thing that I picked up were these happy tot fiber um, fiber and protein they're organic apples and spinach these little bars basically same thing easy for her to kind of hold on to herself and kind of snack on so that was it oh wait one more thing did get some clothing items she needed some more onesies so basics I did the 12 month size of those and then chances are she might not even keep this on but I also got her this little like pool hat to protect her hopefully from the Sun a little bit of like Sun protection shade you guys know Capri is one years old but she's still like my little baldy baby so we really have to protect that little head to make sure it doesn't get like any sunburn or anything like that on it so that's it from my Target drive up now now we're going to run to our next errand, which is popping over to Michael's. We keep on talking from body to body, yeah. Getting closer to just being nothing else. Uh -huh. I'm a sucker for you. Um, I found something similar to what I was looking for. The only thing was the dividers that were in there weren't adjustable like others that I've seen. So unfortunately, no luck at Michael's. I did find some on Amazon, but I feel like they were a little expensive. Um, I may just have to order those. And if I'm going to order, I seriously need to order like tonight in order to get it in time and be able to like pack up all the snacks and things like that that I needed. So now I'm going to head home and I'm going to start kind of just subcategorizing the girl stuff. I don't put everything in the actual suitcase until literally like the night before because I like to double, triple check that I have everything. But I'm going to do like a category for what we're going to pack for the plane going, such as like activities for them, snacks and all of that. And then I'm also going to pack of course their swimsuits their undergarments their clothing all of that i'll probably lay out all like in capri's nursery Just 
face, not that innocent. We know what we did. I'm a sucker for your love. All right, so Capri is up from her nap. It's a little chilly right now up here, so I just put on my cardigan. I literally live in this thing. It's like having a robe version of a sweater. <laughs> Um, over here is where I'm going to kind of lay out all the girl stuff, so I'm going to do like different categories. This is just kind of the start of my packing. I'm not going to totally finish it tonight, but I like to kind of break it up in days. This way I don't forget anything and I can make a list if I need to step out anytime this week to get anything else that I'm missing. I brought up my Target drive up bag um, with some of the things that I'm actually going to pack for the plane. But everything else, all the snacks I already took out and put in our pantry for now. So I got these little things. I'm also going to start gathering things that I need for the plane ride as far as activities. And like I said, the snacks we're not doing until the night before we leave. The loves like the do it dot arts. So these are only $3. It comes with a market so I don't have to bring like my bulky ones. And it has all like these different little animals. And then I also found these I thought were cute so each of the girls can have one. A mini Play-Doh and then it came with these really cute like little cookie cutters. A little unicorn and a little mermaid. I'm just gonna get started and I'll share with you guys if there's anything important that I feel like could be helpful for those of you that may be going away. With I found these the other day at Marshall's I wanted to share with you guys because these are such like stony clover dupes with the nice varsity letters. One says junk and it's like purple. And one says stuff and it's pink. So we'll do one for each of the girls for all of their toiletries. So like shampoo, ponytails, headbands, all of that so they can keep it compact and together. Just waste away One more time is all we need A bit of truth to face Not that innocent We know what we did I'm a sucker for your love So this was actually my very first time ever traveling with two kids on a plane. So I went ahead and first decided to categorize the things and all the items that the girls have matching. I thought that would be easier so I don't forget anything there. And then I went ahead and moved on to the next category, which is basically counting the number of days that we're going to be away. And then also accounting for any time that the girls may have accidents, spills, anything like that. I like to always pack a couple of extra just in case outfits fits as well. Once I was done packing all of the girls' items, like I said, each of the days knowing exactly how many outfits I'm going to need for what, I then did a pile of all of their swimsuits. Same thing, I like to have a bunch of swimsuits for them. This way we could interchange them throughout the days. And then I actually picked up some new packing cubes. I have some for me and Mike, but I actually didn't have any for the girls. These I got on Amazon. It was a really great deal, under $20, and it came with a wide array of sizes and shapes. So I did two of the largest ones one for each of the girls for all of their outfits as I mentioned that they're going to wear throughout the days and then for the smaller ones I had one specifically for their swimsuits and then saving a couple for the following day when I continued to pack for like their undergarments their socks all of that stuff
I also picked up two of these, one set for each of the girls. They were only like $2 each over at Primark, so I thought each of them should have their own inside each of their toiletry bags. They also came with little labels, so I thought that was really great, these little stickers that I just added on. They really come in handy because the girls actually have different skin types. They both suffer from eczema, but Mila's is very mild. Capri's is actually pretty severe, so I like to have different types of lotions that I use on them, as well as sensitive body wash and all of that. And after about two hours of packing on this particular night, I just finished off by adding like their bows and things like that to toiletry bag. It was time to call it a night. But if you guys want to see what I actually pack inside their airport bags as far as activities and snacks, definitely give me a follow over on Instagram at Carissa Teixeira because I'll be sharing all of that the night before we leave. guys i think that's it for today like i said i'll finish up toiletries undergarments and shoes for tomorrow and then in a separate like little carry-on is where i'll do um diapers and wipes for capri and like some swim diapers but i hope you guys enjoyed today's get it all done with me give it a big thumbs up if you did talk to you all in my next one bye